Okay, so this video is try to uh, introduce a famous, uh, very easy uh, quantum algorithm called uh, the Dutch Josas uh, problems. Okay, so I'm I'm uh, assume that uh, everyone per, uh, know some some of the quantum computer and the basic the quantum algorithm, like measurement, unitary transformation, these type of things. Uh, but uh, don't worry that I will provide enough details to tell you. Okay, so okay, so the problem is that uh, given f, there are n bit string from zero one and to zero one. So uh, there are two cases. So suppose uh, we uh, restrict our f into two cases. The first case is f is constant. So that means uh, for all x belongs to zero one to the n, f of x is either zero or one. Okay, and the second statement, uh, the second possibility is, is that, <coughs> so the second possibility is that the f is balanced. So this means half of x, half of x, in the zero one of n will give you zero, and the uh, and the other other will uh, other uh, two to the n minus one number will give you uh, one. Okay. So this is the uh, the two cases of f. So the goal is to determine uh, determine uh, uh, which f uh, which cases is correct. So we need to uh, we need to design an algorithm. So for the classical one, so the classical one you need to first uh, choose one uh, choose one of them, and if you get one. And if you choose another x, then you get zero. Then you know that oh, it must be balanced. So the optimal case for the classical is you need to uh, compute twice. And the uh, and uh, the worst case is you 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 get zero 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 zero. And the uh, on and uh, you you take uh two to the n minus one times, and finally you get the rest. If if it is still zero, then you know it's constant. If it's one, then you know it's balanced. So the worst case is two to the uh, minus one. Okay, so this is the classical one. So if n is very large, then basically you you need exponential time. Ah, uh, expo uh, exponential time. Okay, so uh, this is our quantum algorithm. Basically, you have some zero. You go to the Hadamard gate. Uh, by the way, this is zero tensor n, so zero uh, tensor n, and then this is a Hadamard gate. Okay, and uh, also one, and then you go to Hadamard gate. You go to zero and go into, and then after that you you go to another Hadamard gate, basically Hadamard tensor n, and then you go to measure this, measure the first. Uh, one and then this is just passing. So this is just n theta. So this is doesn't uh does not have a uh, important uh, meaning. Okay. Uh, so before proving it, we first need to know something uh, really important. So if you have tensor n and then you get hadma n, then you will have this. Uh, basically, you need to remember this. Then you will get uh, two to n and uh, basically since x is from zero to n. So we can map the quantum state into a uh, number x. So we, I just use this notation from zero to two to n. Okay, uh, minus one. Okay, so this is uh, things you need to remember. And the last thing is that if you act on something called x, then uh, you will have uh, one over square at least one and uh, minus x dot y. And the y and the y is also from zero to two to n minus one. And uh, this uh, this is the bitwise uh, product. So bitwise product means just uh, you can write x into a vector x one, x two, x n, and the y is just y one, y two, y n, and uh, this product just y one, uh, x one, uh, direct sum, uh, x two. Oh, so this is the uh, let me see. This is should be the. Uh, should be should be what? Oh, it's just so this is just bitwise products. So, 
so if this is on two zero zero equals uh, you get zero and uh, one zero you get one uh, zero and one one you get one and then you just this uh, so this is just like parity so it's zero at zero is zero and zero at one is one one at one is one and the one at one is zero okay so uh, basically you just so uh, each of x should be zero or one and you can compute this and compute this compute this okay so this is the thing uh, you have to remember okay so once you have remembered this then uh, we can start to do the uh, the algorithms analysis and to see uh, why this is correct i mean this is very amazing that uh i mean when the first time i i, I saw these algorithms because i mean it's very uh very uh strange that there is this is something uh, which oh i can work okay so the the these states these states uh this state phi is just the hard markets uh, of zero so you get this one uh, minus oh, sorry what i'm writing about okay so we start from the least state phi one phi two phi three phi four basically the function f is here okay so the phi one is just uh this okay and the phi two is just you take hard mark gates of the zero n and the part of gate of one and your tensor product so this will give you uh, two to n plus one uh, x x from zero to n minus one and uh, one. Oh, sorry this is zero minus one okay and then you finally take f okay so the f x on the x y will give you the uh, x and the y the bit y product x so this is the the quantum circuit the the corner circuit you need to you you need to build okay so let's assume that you already know this so you take this then you will get this so it's very happy that you don't need at up to now we don't need the corner uh, for a transform okay so you will have this uh let me see you will have uh six x so you will have what f of x because p y zero is zero and p y f of x okay okay so the important thing is, is that if f of zero uh, f of x is zero then this turns zero minus one and if f is one then it's one minus zero so you can write this uh, this minus x so this is the key important step here you can write as this zero minus one okay okay so from here then the, we can uh so we add on here so now we have our in five three so in five four we just add hard market and at, at the first side at this part okay so i will get this two to n plus one and one over two to the n and uh still x equals zero to uh, minus one and uh, become y and the uh, minus x dot y and then there's a y so y from zero to two uh, minus one and the uh, minus f of x and the uh, zero and the uh, minus one okay so uh and uh okay so let me clean the, clean the result. Okay, so basically uh, this is zero for one, and then we only first uh, measure the first. Uh, so we did, didn't care about it. So we can just, since it's tensor product, so we can just ignore this. So we will have the origin, uh, final state uh, look like this square since i already take one over square root to uh, to cancel it to pull all these these things out so this is the final result okay so uh basically it's y minus x bit y plus f of x nice nice so it's one over two to n x y and y minus f of x 
plus x dot y. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So I can write it as one over two to n. Uh, y from zero to uh, minus one, x from zero to two to uh, minus one, and uh, minus one f of x, minus one x bit y y, and the y. Okay, then finally, uh, finally, I just measure. I just measure y. Okay, so there are uh, many possibilities. So the first possibility is that uh, in, the in the first case, uh, if f is constant. That means minus f of x is just. Uh, so so since uh, if I take okay so, so let me write it down. So the prob probabilities the probabilities, uh, you get. Zero is just square root of when y is zero. So y is zero, you just get zero. So uh, this is just this. Okay, so the probability get zero is this. So if f is in the first case, in the first case, if f is constant, then f of x is just constant. So this term is just minus one. If if f of x is zero, then then you get the one plus one plus one plus one, and then this will get the p of zero is zero is one. So you always get the, you always get. Zero. Okay, and the second, if s is balanced, uh, then f of x is uh plus one, uh, plus or minus one, and uh, half half. So this term will be zero. So you get p of zero, which is zero. Okay, so which tell you that uh, you can just you can just measure one time. You can just measure one time. If you get zero. Then you know that uh, basically is constant, and if you get one, basically is balanced. So you only need all one time, okay, and the uh, deterministic. So compared to the uh, classical, classical one, so for the classical one, you need uh, uh, average. You need uh, uh, all to the two n uh, minus one uh, time. Okay, so basically, uh, from this uh, very stupid example, that you can see the quantum uh, quantum algorithms, uh, in definitely have some uh, may have some uh, much difficult, uh, much, a uh, powerful uh, uh, complexity or the behavior than the classical computer. Okay, so this is the first quantum algorithms I want to provide, uh, which is interesting, and I will keep provide some interesting quantum algorithms in the future. Okay, so thank you, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.